In this tutorial, we will show how to use the draw section cut command for the quick determination of resultant forces. For this example, we have modeled a two-story concrete building consisting of flat slabs supported by columns and walls. The model has already been analyzed and the deformed shape is shown on the right. In the left view, we will show the floor moments. A section cut may only be drawn on a view that is showing forces or displacements. Next, go to the draw section cut command. We will draw a section cut line across a portion of the slab. The coordinates of the section cut line, along with the resultant location, are displayed using global coordinates. The resultant location is the center of the section cut line. For the section cut, the integrated forces in the x, y, and z directions and the moments about the x, y, and z axes are displayed for both the right and left side of the line. Next, we will draw a section cut over the columns. Again, the integrated forces are provided on both the left and right sides of the section cut line. For this case, because our section cut line was drawn from the left to the right in plan, the right side will be on the bottom, and the left side will be on the top as you look along the length of the line. Now change the right view to an elevation. We will draw another section cut line through the bottom story. We can remove the columns from the section cut and update the resultants for just the walls. Or we may show the resultants for just the columns. If we remove both the columns and walls, the values are zero, as our section cut does not pass through any other objects. This concludes this tutorial.